Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today will be another episode of Tar Talk Tuesday. Today I want to discuss some pros and cons of being in the medical field, but we're going to specialize on the medical assistant therapeutic area. So before I was in ophthalmology, I started off as a medical assistant. I worked as a medical assistant for roughly one or two years and I actually became certified as a medical assistant. And being hands on, I was able to formulate some pros and cons. So I said, okay, I'm starting a YouTube channel. So let's just go ahead and document those pros and cons so that way it may help somebody that's thinking about becoming a medical assistant or even thinking about being an RN. So if you see me occasionally look down, I do have my paperwork so that way I can stay on topic. So let's get right into the video. So we have pro number one. Pro number one will be completion time. When I started off being a medical assistant, I went to school for roughly nine months and I had a six week internship. So it wasn't long at all. I know for BSN, you have to go to school for four years. And I know for ADN, some places you go to school for two years. But of course, state and city, everything is subject to change. Pro number two, you are well-rounded. When I became a medical assistant, I was able to do EKGs, I was able to do phlebotomy, I was able to scribe, I was able to take a thorough chief complaint, and I was just very well-rounded. So that allowed me to be easily trained to do different therapeutic areas. And being a medical assistant, you're so well-rounded that you don't have to just stay in one particular area. You can easily move on to different areas and get more experience because you have that experience under your belt. And that's just by coming out of school, I was able to do all of those things because they train you so well to be a medical assistant. Now, pro number three, marketable for different therapeutic areas. So that's just a piggyback off of pro number two, you're so well-rounded. So with me, I currently work in ophthalmology, but I started off as a medical assistant. When I started off as a medical assistant, I was working for a nonprofit agency. And in that time, I was with all different therapeutic areas. I was doing cardiology, oncology, I was just doing a little bit of everything to be honest. I was doing some triage, the patients would call in with some type of complaint. I would write the information down and I would answer it to the best of my ability as being a medical assistant. Now anything that was not in my scope for being a medical assistant, of course I would defer that over to the RN and then the RN she would talk everything over with the patient and if she had to speak with the doctor, then of course she would do so. But being a medical assistant allowed you to do different things. You can start off in clinic and then you can also gravitate and just go to research. So it's such a blessing to be a medical assistant. Number four, you are the right hand man slash woman for that doctor. When I became a medical assistant, I was working for two doctors. I was working for... Um, the president over that particular company and I was also working for a neurologist that worked there as well. Now, when I came in as a medical assistant, I was eager to learn. So your average medical assistant, I'm not even gonna say your average medical assistant, but a lot of times you don't have a medical assistant that's gonna do billing and coding. You don't have a medical assistant that's typing in the plan and impression. For me, I was doing it all because I wanted you to see that, you know what? I'm your right hand woman. If you need something, you come to me. I am your medical assistant and I'm gonna make sure I do my job to the best of my ability. So that allowed me to have a seamless transition over to ophthalmology because I was able to become a lead tech. Now I became a lead tech with no experience that much in ophthalmology because I was a medical assistant. I was able to talk to the patients. I was able to talk to the doctors. So that way I was once again and more well-rounded to go to those different therapeutic areas. Number five, you get that hands-on experience. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to be a medical assistant because you get that hands-on experience. You get that hands-on experience to say, hey, do I wanna go further in the medical field? Do I wanna be an RN? Do I wanna be an LPN? Is this something I wanna do? 
Now, of course, as a medical assistant, you're not pushing drug through an IV, but a lot of times you're working with RNs, or at least you have RNs that are there and you're able to see actually what they do, especially if you work in a hospital, especially if you work in a hospital. So that allows you to say, okay, you know what, I'm going to pump the brakes a little bit and I'm not going to, you know, go back to school right now to be an RN. I'm going to work in the field for at least three years. And now that's another thing. You're working in the field for at least three years or even a year. You're getting experience and you're getting paid for it. So that's such a great thing. So we're done now with the pros. And honestly, I could have kept going with the pros, but I didn't want to make this video too long. One thing I will say prior to going into the cons, do it for you. If you want to be a medical assistant, regardless if this video comes out and you find it useful, do your research and find out what's your reason why you want to be a medical assistant. Medical assistants are not being phased out, especially in South Carolina. There are so many job openings and I will um, attach my video showing that so many openings recently within the last 30 days of medical assistant and honestly when I did my personal research here I saw more job openings for medical assistants than I saw for LPNs now of course for RNs you know you have a lot of openings for RNs but as far as between uh, MA and an LPN I saw way more job openings way more job openings but once again that's in my area of South Carolina so cons I really didn't have that many cons that I could list as far as my personal experience as being a medical assistant because the things that I noticed were cons to me could have been flipped over and been a pro to somebody else. But I'm still going to go ahead and list everything that I have that I said was a con for me. So number one, pay. Now, being a medical assistant, your pay is going to fluctuate. You can start off at the $13 hour or you can have go up to $17 an hour. Now, I've noticed a lot of people with $17 an hour, they already had some form of experience. A year, two years, three years. They're not just graduating from MA school and then just boom, $17 an hour. I didn't even start off $17 an hour. I think to think about it. I think I started for like 11 or $12 if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, gradually increase as time went on. But that's one thing that's a con for me because you are doing a lot of work, to be honest. You are, especially depending on what type of practice you work for. For me, like I said, I was working with a nonprofit organization, so we had orthopedics there. So I'm getting braces for the doctor. We had um, cardiology there so I'm doing the EKG for the doctor we had OBGYN there so I'm setting up all the things for pap smear I'm doing so much that $12 or $13 I definitely felt of course I should have gotten more so that's one thing that I felt was a con number two con is your caseload if you're working in the ER you may notice that your caseload is going to be a little heavy especially if you're working like i said er hospital base i don't know if medical assistants work that much in like the actual er area but i do know there are a lot of medical assistants that work as a medical assistant for a doctor's office that's within the hospital if that makes sense so for me I used to work for a neurologist and he was working inside of a hospital so you know they have like the doctor's offices that are affiliated with the hospital so he had a resident clinic so when he had a resident clinic oh my gosh we were moving but at the same time it was a pro because of course I'm learning but I mean I just felt like I was on my feet and I was just I was moving I was definitely moving so you could easily get burned out especially as you get more mature in life and you get a little bit more slower at bringing your patients back that's one thing you have to be mindful of is the caseload the caseload and the pay are two things that you have to be mindful of number three and I have this as a con but I want people to understand 
that this can happen in any field, especially if you are not where somebody else think you should be. Number three, people saying, oh, you're just an MA. Oh, so are you going to go back to school? No, you're, and it's a con because for me, I just felt like, okay, I went to school, I worked hard for this, and now you're just classifying me as just an MA. But don't let anybody classify you as just an MA. Know your worth, know that without you there, a lot of times those doctors will be lost. Okay, a lot of times those doctors will be lost. Those doctors, especially if they're not in a private practice, and even even sometimes when they're in a private practice, they don't know where everything is located. So they depend on just those MAs, okay? So you're not just an MA. You're the doctor right hand woman. You're the doctor right hand man. So you are such a valuable part of the team. But I just wanted to list that because I just I just feel like that's such a con because I feel like that's such negativity that I keep hearing people say, oh, don't go to school and be just the MA, just go and get your RN. Well, what if I don't want to be an RN when I get into the field? Why not start off as an MA, get some experience, and then see if I even want to stay in the medical field? So that's just my pros and cons. I really didn't have that many cons, so I wanted to just stop it there because this isn't a video that's trying to bash MAs because honestly, if you do your research, it's a great field to be in. It's a great field to be in and it's a great field to start off in so that way you can get that experience, that hands-on experience to see if this is truly what you wanna do. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoy this Tar Talk Tuesday. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. See you later.